And if you want a little bright spot, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, Lena Khan, who is the chairperson of it, oh, she is dreamy to me. <laughs> the FTC has been really doing amazing work, led by Lena Khan, really doing what they can to break up monopolies, to sue large companies like Google and Amazon and Apple. And that is hard to do. And I think, frankly, a good government has a real role to play there, and I believe in it. But the problem is when people like us check out of our democracy and are kind of watching and making sure that our representatives stay accountable to us, it really allows government to not be good. And there can be corruption. And when that happens, it helps us all to not believe in it, not want to fund it. And then we get in this sort of ugly cycle of defunding the government, making it incompetent because it cannot afford to do the job properly. The IRS is a great example of this type of lack of funding leading to a lack of capacity. I mean, the IRS is everybody's favorite boogeyman, but I think a well-funded IRS is a benefit to the U.S. taxpayer, right? It's a benefit to everyone but billionaires who currently have a far lower audit rate than you and I do. <laughs> and that's because it requires IRS funding to actually go after really wealthy taxpayers. It, it costs a lot more to do those audits because they're much harder. You're facing up to an army of sophisticated, well-paid lawyers and accountants. Whereas when you audit someone like me or you, that's a pretty easy audit. And the person doesn't have that much money to really put up a strong defense. So I believe in a well-funded IRS, and I believe in good government that is responsible to its citizens. And that ties into us being engaged civically.